This is the demo video of the AutoBlack test tool. AutoBlack test automatically interacts with an application under test, builds a model that represents how the application can be used, identifies the most relevant uses of the application, discovers the main independent failures, and synthesizes a regression test suite from the derived model. In this video, we show five steps. We show the setup of the tool, we show how the tool incrementally builds a model that represents the possible uses of the application. In particular, we show how the model is incrementally extended during the execution of the two first episodes. Then we show the final model derived by AutoBlack test and some of the relevant scenarios that AutoBlack box automatically identified and included in the model. Finally, we show that the test cases synthesized from the model can be automatically executed. We start with the setup of the tool. The tool is implemented as an extension of the IBM Functional Tester that is an Eclipse-based tool. To set up the tool, we define two parameters, the number of episodes that must be executed, in this case 200, and the length of each episode, in this case 20. We can now run the tool. When the tool starts, we have three active windows. The console at the upper left corner is the Auto Black Test console, where Auto Black Test logs messages. The upper right console is the IBM Functional Tester console, where the IBM Functional Tester logs messages. In the center we have the application. The list at the center of the application is the list of tweets that can be accessed by the user. Below the list, there is a text area where the user can write messages. Moreover, there are buttons to upload messages and refresh the list. By interacting with the single tweets in the list, it is possible to modify and delete them. While AutoBlack test interacts with the application, it builds a model that represents how the application can be used. On the bottom right corner of the window, we show AutoBlack box that interacts with Twit there. All the actions are executed by the tool. On the left side of the windows, we show the model that AutoBlack test incrementally builds while interacting with Twit there. The tool can visualize only the final model. In the demo, we show how the model construction works. The label in the states of the model replaces the set of attribute values that are automatically extracted. We don't show the attribute values because there are too many to be visualized in the video. Note, in the model, each action collects a reward and each action state pair has a Q value. In episode one, we can see that initially AutoBlack test tries to upload a tweet, but the application returns an error message. Then AutoBlack test adds some text in the text field, scrolls the scroll bar, refreshes the window, changes the refresh frequency, uploads a tweet, then tries again to upload an empty tweet and continues interacting with the application until the end of the episode. The second episode re-executes some of the actions already discovered in the first episode and then starts exploring a new scenario. We have a new scenario because AutoBlack test changes the refresh frequency of the combo box from a new state. AutoBlack test continues interacting with the application by setting the text in the text area, using the refresh button, etc. We interrupt the video about the second episode. After 200 episodes, Auto Black Box analyzes the derived model and identifies paths with high Q values. These paths represent relevant usage scenarios. Here we show two of these paths. The first path shows the case of a tweet that is first added and then deleted. In particular, Auto Black Test first changes the refresh frequency. Then it writes good luck in the text area. The text is is then changed into hello. The tweet is then uploaded. Auto Black Test continues by first writing in the text area and then changing the refresh frequency. Finally, Auto Black Test deletes the tweet. The second path shows the case of the addition of multiple tweets. Auto Black Test first changes the refresh frequency, then writes world in the text area. Auto Black Test then changes the refresh frequency again, then it adds the tweet. Then it writes good luck in the text area and adds the second tweet. Finally, it writes goodbye and adds the third tweet. Finally, we generated test cases from the model. Test cases are saved as executable test scripts that can be executed with the IBM Functional Tester. We can now run one of the test scripts. On the left side of the screen, we visualize the initial part of the test script that is executed. In the bottom right, corner, we show auto black test that executes the test script. The test case starts with the upload of a new tweet, then the refresh frequency is modified, and finally the tweet is deleted. This concludes the demo.